Today we're talking about upscaling your footage from HD to Ultra HD and 4K. Welcome to tdcat.com. The first thing I'm going to get sort of off my chest, if you like, is there are quite a lot of plugins out there that, that do this for you. They allow and claim, make various claims around upscaling of footage. And I think they're kind of gimmicky at best and probably, in most cases, sort of snake oil. There's just no market for this sort of thing anymore. I think the algorithms and the uh, scaling, the simple basic scaling within most NLEs now is good enough to achieve what you want to, the best you're going to get. Because what we're doing here is compromising. There is always going to be some compromise when you upscale because you're making up information. There is some sort of... I don't know, interpolation or uh, something going on that's saying this pixel ideally needs to be this color and this this brightness and uh, uh, because it makes sense because it's next to one that's similar to that. And there are various ways that that's done within your NLE, in my case, Premiere. So of course, you've got to think about the number of pixels that are being made up. In this particular instance, we're going from HD, which is just over 2 million pixels, to Ultra HD, which is 8.3 million pixels. So there's a load of stuff being made up. We're not talking about just an increase of two. We're talking about, even though the scale would be probably 200%, we're talking an increase of over four times the, well, four times the number of pixels. Actually, in this instance, I've got some footage here got some kind of um, outtake footage uh, from some uh, from a recent uh, piece of work we did and this is actually shot at 720p so 720p is not even a million pixels that's only 921,000 pixels so we're going up from 921,000 pixels to 8.2 million pixels and I just want to go through the method that I use and I find to generally be the best so first of all here's our here's our sequence and if we zoom out on this, because it, this is a um, this is a UHD plate, so let me just fit that. I've already zoomed this now to three hundred percent scale. Is it three hundred percent? So there's some serious scaling going on this piece of footage. I found a frame that's pretty sharp uh, because Rod was walking along at the time this was being filmed. So a lot of them are sort of not sharp. There's a lot of motion blur on this, and I want to use proper footage because using an image or just using some some standard standing stuff just doesn't really work because it's just not how things are in real life when you're shooting out there so um <clears throat> let's have a look how it looks to start with and i'm actually quite impressed by that i mean that is a hundred percent so that that is how it would look across the screen at 4k we've got no sharpening applied yet and we've got also got no grain and they're the only two things i'm going to do here really so the first thing i want to do is I want to um, add some sharpening to the uh, to the footage. So I've got my unsharp mask here, and I would recommend using unsharp mask rather than any other sharpening filter. Unsharp mask is still not an accelerated uh, effect within uh, within Premiere, but it is still the most flexible and gives you the most options. You've got sharpening uh, Lumetri color now, and you've also got the old sharpen filter, which is a, a, a CUDA accelerated or whatever they're called uh, effect. But unsharp mask is slow when you play it back, but just disable it and then it's pretty fast to render. So just enable it before you render. But it does give you really good options. So if I drop that onto my footage now, and I, own, I only want very subtle sharpening. I don't want it to go over the top. So I want to drop the radius down to 0.5. And I'm going to increase the threshold to 3. Just so that we don't have every single edge being harshly sharpened. We just have the, the, we just have the, uh, the, the kind of um, finer, more precise details being sharpened to less of an extent, if you know what I mean. That's what I'm trying to achieve here. So it's a, so as I say, it's a UHD uh, plate, so it will require a bit of uh, a fairly high amount on the unsharp mask. Let's just have a look. Okay, so we can clearly see the sharpening taking effect there, and we don't really have any other artifact. I mean, even around the edges of the glasses, here, we can see a little bit here where it's starting to break, and we're getting the lines that aren't quite kind of aliased correctly and they're sort of like breaking around the edges, but it's pretty good. So the sharpening sort of it actually enhances that a little bit. So we've probably got a bit too much there, I would say. 
So we'll back, back that off a bit. Always good with sharpening. Go up to where you think is right and then take it back a bit. I remember it was, um, is it Andrew V? Is it Andrew? Can't, I can't recall actually, but look him up. He's an absolutely brilliant, uh, brilliant video guy. He does some great tutorials. He always says that about when you're doing push-pull on, on colour and sharpening, sort of always go where you think is right and then take it back a bit because you've probably overdone it. And Right, so there's our sharpening. Brilliant. And now all I'm going to do is add an adjustment layer to here. Same size of the footage. You can see the size of the footage there. Um, what am I doing? What am I, doing? <laughs> what am I trying to drag that on again? Put that over the top of the footage and I'm going to apply some grain to that just to smooth things out a bit. It's only going to be very, very subtle, but it's just to kind of, if there are any of those artifacts, it's just to kind of mask them out a bit and, and make them less visible. You f the footage is never going to be as sharp as 4K footage shot with a 4K sensor would be. It's not going to happen, but you can get it looking nice ish and what i'll do actually is i'll export this clip or a similar clip and uh, put it online and put it on the uh, web page for you to download so you can see what the final product looks like so if you do have a 4k monitor or uhd monitor you can uh, have a look at it so i'm actually going to do this using i'm going to use uh, film convert for this but if you don't have film convert you can just use our film grain plates. They're free to download. You can get them off our website. So if you just go to this link here at the top of the page, then we've just got a page dedicated to the uh, the grain plates and they're available in uh, ProRes 422 and ProRes 444 formats uh, at uh, UHD, <coughs> uh, sorry, 4K DCI and HD in all different frame rates. So basically knock yourself out and download some if you want to. Uh, take the colour off this, we don't want any film colour because we're not talking about grading now, we're just talking about grain. So I'm just turning it on and off. Probably a, maybe, could maybe even add a little bit more onto that. Okay, now let's just put this as a fit. And that is all I would do for upscaling footage. I think, I mean, you can see from this that it looks fine. You know, it looks fine on, the, on here. Uh, but I'm going to export this out. I'm going to upload it or make it available. In fact, I'll probably make the raw export available as a download uh, rather than YouTubing it because YouTube just wrecks everything as far as um, <clears throat> compression and quality is concerned. So yeah, that's it. That's all I would do to upscale footage. I would use the scale in your NLE, so there's no need for additional stuff. So where After Effects have now brought their detail-preserving upscale in, I don't really rate it. I've tried it out, and I don't find it to be any better than just doing it this way. So three simple, three simple steps. Upscale the footage, apply a simple unsharp mask, and then add an adjustment layer and add some grain to it, or alternatively just drop a grain plate on top of it and just, just make a very, very subtle and um, fine grain, <clears throat> put a fine grain on the uh, footage so you can uh, just mask out some of those, some of those uh, artifacts a little bit. That's it, I hope that's helpful, and we will catch you next time. If you like what we do, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's always good, it's always motivating when we get uh, people subscribing to the channel, but we, we like doing this stuff anyway, so uh, we'll carry on uh, producing the content. Catch you soon. Bye.